For anyone who thought Fate Grand Order was over with, the Lost Spells think again because we got the reveal of Call of the Alien World and its apostles who we are all mostly familiar with. Also, Geisha is still around so we have to figure out what to do with him if anything's going to be done at all. The apostles were summoned to enact the Human Order Revision phenomenon aka the story of Cosmos and the Lost Spell. Hence, they were doing this with the help of the Cryptors as well as from Cal Dea, who played a part in this plan going through. Originally, the apostles are supposed to be overseeing the fantasy trees aka the trees of emptiness. If Gaetia succeeded in his plan, this wouldn't be possible, so they had one of their members, the detective Sherlock Holmes, to help Caldea as well as get them through the lost belts, and at some unknown point was given new orders and chose to block out those memories so he wouldn't remember them. But when he was made to remember, thanks to the help, quote unquote, of ruler Moriarty, Sherlock decided to leap off of the bridge that they were on, disappearing for good so he would not have to work under the alien god, having built a bond with Chaldea. Next, we have the professor, which is ruler Moriarty. He was the last to be summoned and, unlike most, is not loyal to the alien god, but the alien world itself. We know that he dislikes the protagonist for inadvertently allowing the advent of the alien god, and he prefers Caddox and Lupus team up with and wants him to replace the protagonist. We also know that he wanted Sherlock to remember he was an apostle of the alien god, or in this case the alien world, so he could expose him and defeat Sherlock as someone compelled to follow the other side. The malignant incarnation Asha Doman, we know is tasked with watching the Lost Belt Kings. Although he did stray from the path a bit, or a lot, depending on how you look at it, trying to make himself a beast in Heinkyo. If you want to learn more, I did a video on him if you're interested. Next, we have the priest Rasputin in the body of Kirei Kotomine, who is tasked with watching the cryptors and later finding the alien god a new vessel, which didn't exactly go through. He is one of the last members surviving by the end of Lost Belt 7. Then we have the Atlas Slayer Muramasa who is there to ensure the advent of the alien god which Kristari Wudame was trying to stop. Here we have one of the most well known members, the god Yuolga Marie who is the leader of the group that most of the apostles follow as I've mentioned except for one and I have a whole video on her that you can check out. We know that she is a key to the plan but ended up sacrificing herself to stop Ort in the climactic battle since Ort's intentions weren't exactly compliant with what the alien world was striving for. And we know that she might end up coming back due to the existence of the next member who is also still around. This is the Count. We do not know who they are. But it's said by Rasputin that they will revive the god aka Yuolga Marie likely in a more mindless state. This way, Rasputin doesn't have to bother doing so, you know, this implies that he can bring back the alien god anytime. And lastly, we have, I guess you could say, an honorary member who wasn't a member at all, Koenskaya, who was more working alongside them. When we originally thought this group to be called the Apostles of the Alien God, Koenskaya had her own plans becoming a beast, and she has her own story explaining her plans and goals. So that's what we have to look forward to. And if you like this video, I recommend checking out the Alien God or the ORT video because they go over some of the events in relation to Lost Belt 7 that I did not go into in this video.